So the Fed's at 2 o'clock this afternoon. Heads up on that. Want to stay on the side of the trend filter, everybody. Make sure we're on the right side of the filter. We're good to go. I want to go over um, the trend chart real quick. Let's go into crude oil this morning. And I want to look at this setup that we look for. If you notice, um, we like to be above or below the small MA for the trend. But let's look at these patterns that happen in the market. And these are called um, a lot of traders, professional traders, are referred to them as uh, J-hook patterns. Um, I call them one, two, three patterns. So you can recognize them when you get a higher low or you're even in a downtrend or uptrend. And the best way to see the one, two, three pattern or the hook pattern, J-hook pattern, is if you get a retracement and overall trend direction. So it's called a, I call it a one, two, three. A lot of uh, traders call it uh, a J hook. And there's called an inverted J hook. And then there's called a um, regular J hook. And it happens typically, the big ones happens at the high or low of the market when you're at the higher low of the market on a one, two, three pattern. Oops. Let me get this real quick. So you can see that's a one, two, and that's a three. Let's see if I can make this bigger for you. The font. And this is how you catch the wrongly positioned traders. We go over this all the time. They're going to try to either mark the market up or mark the market down. Keep hitting the wrong button here. And I'm going to show you how you can catch them. There we go. So that's a one, there's a two, there's a three. So once you get on the right side of the trend filter, you're going to look for a three pattern short or a, a lot of traders call it a, a J hook. This is an inverted hook, meaning you get a high in the market. On any given market, you get a high. And then you get a low, and the real good ones will, will come up at least 50% retracement. So you'll get a 50% retracement that comes from the high to low. It'll stop right around 50 to 62% retracement. This stop right at 62%. Right there, that is a perfect inverted J-hook. So you see these all the time off highs and lows. And what you want to do, they're mainly for continuation patterns because it's a lower high and you get that big move down and this is where the three sim fired short we had an arrow fired short here and we had an arrow fired short here this morning two cells earlier but then you see the counter trend traders come in again they come in on this pattern where this is one here's two and here's three and here's another inverted J-hook pattern, or you can call it a continuation pattern. And this is where you get the rolling position traders. You catch them again on the counter trend traders. The easy way to see the, uh, these, um, what a lot of traders call J-hook patterns or hook patterns, it's a very powerful setup when you, when you see it because it's a retracement, is when the easy way to see it is when you see the opposite color bar change color. In other words, if I get a high in the market and it turns red, I come down and I form a green bar. That's typically counter trend traders if you're below the trend filter, small MA. So that's a one, two, three pattern short. So right when that green bar comes in, you're basically telling yourself that you're looking for a retracement. Same here. This is a more of a weaker pattern, which is even better. It's a continuation pattern where we had a short this morning. So there's your one red bar, red bar, red bar. Had arrows short here. <clears throat> Here's two. Once that green bar comes in, you get counter trend traders that push the market back up. And right at this high, we had a arrow short right here. Right at that three pattern short, or an inverted J-hook pattern 
right there is your three uh, one two three pattern short, or you can call it a J hook. You know, that's how you can find it on the trend chart. Now, if you're in an uptrend, let's say the Russell 2000. Yesterday we had a real big one in, uh, near the close. It's the opposite on, in the on the upside. So if you're on the upside, or you're in an uptrend. This is called a regular uh, hook, <clears throat> J hook. Looks like a J. So the inverted is when you're in a downtrend, and the regular J hook is when you're in an uptrend. Oh, that's a one, two, three pattern short. Here's two. Here's three at the bottom. Right when you get the red bars that come in, it's against the trend filter. See the trend filter is up. So once the trend filter is up, you want to once that closes a red bar. You know you're in a what? You're in a pattern possibly short, or I mean uh, a pattern long coming up because counter trend traders are the red bars, and you look to look for arrows long on this pullback. So that's the best way, and that's our retracement trade. But there's, I want to go over that because a lot of traders ask why they're so accurate off the trend chart. It's a very important pattern. It is a one, two, three pattern that it forms, or it's called a Look up if you look up J hook on any technical website, that is a J hook. Now a lot of traders they will wait till you break the high or low to get long or short. What you can do is this is if that's a one, two, three pattern short, if you get an arrow that fires, I'll show you another trade setup that works really well. Let's say you got below the trend filter. There's a 90% candle close. There's your two. There's your three. Green bars come in. When you break the low of the two, this is where typically you'll see traders try to get short the market after this bar closes below the low of the two pattern. So what you can do is you can actually, um, what I like to do is I look to look at not the wicks but the body of the candle. And this happens a lot. You see where this, uh, we had an arrow that fired right here. This happens a lot. I love this pattern. So not only do we get the Fibonacci short up here, we had an arrow short off of our Fibonacci level at that high. You can wait till it breaks a low, open versus close low of the pattern, and look for an arrow to fire on a retracement. So it closed below it here. That first retracement, typically you'll get a three sim arrow short, and it is a, big trade. So in other words, once you break through the low of the two, you're going to look for an arrow short and that's where a three sim arrow fired there also. So it's a nice little way how you can get another possible setup off the one, two, three pattern short along. But th that's something uh, I, there's a technical, a lot of traders ask why that pattern works so good off the trend chart. I get that all the time. Why are these counter trend traders wrongly positioned themselves? It's because they're getting caught at a lower high or higher low on buys or sells, and that's what works so well. It, all it is is a one, two, three pattern that works off my trend chart. So we're looking for that pattern for continuations. J hook patterns are basically continuation trades. All right, they're basically continuation trades. So this high and low was 50% retracement here. That is a, another one, two, three pattern short. You like to see at least a 50% retracement on the good ones. But typically, they'll stop right at 62%. So we had two of them this morning so far. There's one, there's two, there's three. So when I'm looking at the trend chart, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a J hook or inverted J hook. Basically, it's a one, two, three pattern. I call it in the room. I've called that ever since we've opened the room. You can also call it an ABC short or ABC long. This is A. 2 is B, 3 is C, and ABCs are 1, 2, 3 patterns or J hook or inverted J hooks. They should stop at between 50 to 62% retracement with the overall trend chart giving you the pullback. Now, just remember the easy way to spot the trades coming up is wait for the opposite color bar on my trend chart. I got a filter built into the trend chart already. Once the opposite color bar comes in, you have a 
possible setup with the overall trend direction. That is a continuation pattern or what we call a Fibonacci retracement. We're looking for Fibonacci retracements right when these bars close, when that bar closed green, look for the retracement. It should come up to 50% retracement to 62 and look for the arrows to get you short or if it's in an uptrend, get you long. Okay? So if I'm looking at gold today then, if I'm taking a look at gold, I've had a couple one, two, three pattern shorts. If I look at gold, here's my one, here's my two, that's my three, arrow fired right here at the high. So that was a short pattern there also. That is a inverted J hook or a one, two, three pattern short. The easy way to find them, like I said, is you look for a retracement. We had two back-to-back -back ones. Here was one, here was one, and now it's working on a third one right now. The best ones will set a lower high or higher low, meaning if it's selling, you want to see a lower high like that. Or if you're buying, if it's hard, if the moving average were in a hard uptrend, you would like to see the one, two, three pattern have a higher low or lower high. Lower high for sells, higher low for buys. So that's a good sell. Counter trend traders came in right here. Green bar, green bar, start watching your arrows short, your Fibonacci shorts, and then you try to jump on the pattern just like it's formal one right now on gold. Okay.